Good morning. Today we're at Big Lots, one of mine and Jessica's favorite stores to find stocking stuffers, other Christmas items. They also have food, so we're going to be checking out some of the stuff that they have. Really cool place. They sell a little bit of everything. We're going to go ahead and check it out. Now me and Jessica come to Big Lots, usually around the holiday season. They usually have some good deals in here. Some things you wouldn't find in a lot of other stores as far as like Christmas stuff. And uh, they do sell furniture and stuff like that too. I wanted too. to show is they do have these big buy alerts where they offer deals. See, we have a, uh, they kind of spread stuff out here pretty well. It's, it's not very big when it comes to food and stuff. One thing I wanted to show though, is that they do have these chicken noodle uh, soups for a dollar. So we saw those were a dollar 89 at Kroger. Now Kroger does have a four pack of chicken noodle soup that you can buy for $5. So that makes it a dollar 25 a can. They also have that same deal for tomato soup. Some of you guys were asking about chicken broth. They do have it here. It's the same price as it is at Kroger. So some stuff that I've seen has been the same price as Kroger. Like they do have the chunky uh, Campbell's, which is $1.79 at Kroger too. But it's nice to be able to come to one store and look at stuff, check it out, see what they got. Uh, they do have pop. Hey, look at that. They got Cherry Coke. I haven't seen Cherry Coke in weeks. I need to bring that Sprite Zero back in though. That's my favorite, Sprite Zero. They do have some Sprite Zero in two liters, which I've been buying them like that, but it's kind of expensive. Seems like a store to where if you're looking at food items, make sure you check the end caps if they're low on stuff because I saw a bunch more soup, Progresso soup and stuff like that over there. Uh, I got one box of these whales. I know we got a good response on the uh, the whales crackers, which they did have a Dollar Tree for a dollar. Not that much though. Um, and they got the uh, goldfish. They do seem to be out of a lot of chips, but they could be stocking these up. Usually when you see spaces like this in between things, this is probably the one they can't get in. Um, $3.99 for this big bag of kettle chips though, really isn't that bad. Uh, and they got these, we like these, the uh, cantina cafe style on the border. I don't know how much those are. I have like a bunch of stuff in the aisles in the middle. Um, not really sure. This may be stuff that people would use for the holidays. I'm seeing a lot of like ingredients, shelled walnuts, uh, stuff like that, different uh, mixes and stuff. feel like you just got to kind of go through every aisle and just kind of look around. Everything is very scattered out here. They do seem to be low on some medicine and stuff, but they got all the normal things. And, you know, normally we wouldn't come to Big Lots for this kind of stuff anyway. And stuff's just hard to get these days. We can see, as every other store, they are low on the drinks. Low on the uh, drinks that normally kids would take to school. They do have the Mott's apple juice, though. I know some people were asking about that. I just wanted to come back to the food first to show you guys what they have or what they don't have. And we're going to check out some of the other stuff. They do have some Christmas items up front we're going to look at. Looks pretty cool. You can see that they have a lot of these things. A lot of fall. A lot of fall themed stuff. Pumpkin spice coffee. Starbucks. Here's something interesting here. Uh, this uh, Victor Allen's coffee. They don't have a price on it. Uh, it's 80 of them. I've seen these at Ollie's. This is an 80 count. Let me know if you've tried this brand coffee before. Because uh, I think, it, I'm not sure what the price is here, but I know at Ollie's, people were saying that it's pretty cheap. Not a fan of their toilet paper. We have bought it before. Uh, their paper towels, surprisingly, are okay. There is a big sign that says they want to take care of your neighbors. You can only buy three of the toilet paper or paper towels. Uh, I don't know if that's including mix and matching, but that's good because they don't want to get wiped out because... A lot of people come here to shop, and if, if that's what they like, they want to make sure they have enough to be able to help out everybody. They don't have as much as they usually do, but they do have the storage bins. I know you guys were asking about these, and they got some bigger ones, smaller ones. So here's one of those signs I was telling you about. And, you know, as to where they don't have as much as a lot of places, they do have stuff. Um, again, their toilet paper looks like it's kind of low but we saw in the back they have more like i said everything seems to be really spread out here so you just got to kind of look around you got to watch for these deals too um, where you can get coupons and stuff for the future 
Okay, so there are a lot of employees stocking up in the food right now, so I like that. I like that. They're really nice. I talked to a couple of them. One of them was saying that products are really hard to get in, which we know, and I, I explained to her a lot of stuff at Kroger, the high meat prices. Everybody knows about this stuff. I was talking to a vendor in here. He works for Pepsi, and he was saying that Gatorade has been wiped out for the summertime. He said they're starting to get a lot of it back, a lot of it back. Uh, that's good to hear. We have been seeing more and more Gatorade throughout the stores. You guys know I love my Gatorade. This is a great place to shop for your kids for Christmas. I mean, they usually have great deals. Everything I ever hear about Big Lots here on toys and stuff is always really good. I know the LOLs are popular with the younger kids. And they've got all the Barbies and little plushes and babies. Uh, you know, you always need to compare prices, you know. I mean... Uh, know what you've seen at Walmart. Uh, Walmart's obviously really big for Christmas toys, you know, but uh, it's always good to, to check everything out. Save where you can. All these quick pick-me-up Christmas items I like, too. Uh, I know you can get the cheese platters that a lot of... This is the old Wisconsin brand. That's pretty good. Packing up lots of cookies and all that stuff. Um, you know, I mean, these shelves are empty because they're building this right now. And this is what I was talking about, guys. Like, you really just kind of have to look around all over the store here because we found more totes. More totes, which these will probably go back toward the back once they get the Christmas stuff in here. But they've got all kinds. I got to say, this, this right here is pretty cool. So we found the wrapping paper aisle. You can always count on them to have a lot of wrapping paper. They usually have a lot up front, too. I didn't see any. Uh, but you better believe it's coming and they've got all these bags But see this is why I like going to Dollar Tree for this stuff because this is seven dollars. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's ten bags Well, okay, that ain't bad. That's cheaper than Dollar Tree got all the ornaments Different stuff. They always have a lot of cool Christmas decor here. You do got to watch for the deals, too This stuff is 20% off right now This is what always draws my attention and this stuff is really cool I mean, a lot of it. And it's, it's stuff that you don't find in other places. That's what I love about it. Stuff like this. Farm fresh Christmas trees. Cedar pine. Also, if you have a Big Lots near you and you love Halloween, they are having their clearance right now of all this different Halloween stuff. Normally, this Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas is $30. Man, 75% off. That'd be less than 10 bucks. Looks a little pricey for Christmas trees, but they do have them. And honestly, I don't know. I feel like over the years, Christmas trees uh, have gone up. They've gone up a lot. They always have some really cool stuff. Always. Check this out. All this Christmas stuff already up. A couple weeks from Thanksgiving. This is usually when they bring out all the stuff anyway, but... Got a little Grinch bobblehead there. Got these little Christmas things. Let's check this guy out. Whoa! Here's something pretty cool. It was the night before Christmas when all the house. Not a creature was I'm not gonna go push all this. <laughs> They've got all these little houses. Man, I mean this is really cool for twelve dollars. That's a great deal. And this, I mean, for fifteen bucks, you know, I mean that's pretty awesome. Glad to see that they're able to keep these prices down at least. These are probably, these seem like they were the same prices the last few years that we've been here. They don't seem like they've really gone up. Okay, I almost forgot, but I wanted to check out the pet food. It does seem like a lot of stuff's missing here too. I'm not surprised. Uh, it's been hard to get everywhere. They do have it though. I mean, they do have some of the fancy feast. I think this is fancy feast. Nope, this is beyond. Beyond there. They are a dollar a can, which is a little pricey. Here's something interesting though, and I don't know if people use Cat's Pride or not, but the Tidy Cats is $9.59, which was a way better deal than we saw at Kroger. It was $14.99 there. I remember some of you guys talking about bird food and where they have it. Um, they do have bird food here. It's not too much. Um, and we'll have to check some other stores as we go along. As I get comments, you know, I try to remember to check out some of the things that you guys have mentioned. Uh, at least show you where they do have stuff. And again, this whole back wall here is full of toys. And you better believe these are going to be going off the shelves for Christmas. I'm not going to go through everything, but they always got pretty good deals on stuff like this. They do seem to have a lot of dog food, too. I mean, not a lot, but I mean, they got it. And if you're at Big Lots and you're shopping for other things, 
this is an option for you to go in and get your pets. So I have a thing I do for myself on Mondays. I call it Mountain Dew Monday. I really quit drinking a lot of regular pop. I drink mostly diet. But on Mondays, I get me one Mountain Dew to treat myself. Uh, today's Tuesday. I missed my Mountain Dew Monday, but got it today. Big Lots is really an awesome store. They have a little bit of everything. One thing I love seeing in there, there's a lot of employees. There's a lot of employees that are stocking up stuff. Um, and I didn't want to bother them. They're, they're really hitting the uh, the food. They're really stocking up on the food. So that's good to see. Awesome to hear from the Pepsi employee that Gatorade is making a comeback. We'll have to see uh, what stores are getting it. I actually did, I couldn't find any in there. So I don't know if he had any to bring. Uh, but he was stocking up the Pepsi and those kind of things. As far as Christmas stuff goes, you have to check this place out. They always have really cool uh, Christmas items, Christmas decor. Lots of toys for what looks like very good prices. So it's always worth a trip to Big Lots. Um, yeah, you can shop around in here for, for an hour. They, they sell furniture too. I didn't want to touch on that stuff. Uh, the furniture is very well priced. Once Christmas stuff comes out, they do have to move stuff around. Looks like they're doing a great job at that. I'm surprised at how much Christmas stuff they already have out. Uh, and I've, I see boxes and boxes with people filling the shelves. So this is a good option. Not much pet food. I'm glad I remembered to go back and check that. They do have bird food. So if you have a Big Lots near you and if you were one of the ones who had commented about bird food, they do have it at Big Lots. Thank you all so much for watching the video today. We really appreciate it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.